Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Steve. And today is day six of our Amazon Echo project, and today is the reveal. Exciting times. We have Amazon's product, but then we have our product, or the Amazon Echo running on a Raspberry Pi. And thanks to Amazon for releasing the code that's in here, but making it available there. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so once we left off last episode, um, we were troubleshooting, we were debugging, um, we really didn't know what we were doing. So over the weekend, I debugged the code. We had a, um, a syntax error on our JSON file, and I fixed that over the weekend. I also right. It's a, the, the one thing that you won't see on the Raspberry Pi is, for example, if I say Alexa, and she obviously wakes up and uh, appears to want to listen, uh, you will not see that on the Raspberry Pi. That's the one thing Amazon left out of the build. So we'll have to invoke the uh, voice activation uh, with a button on the screen. All right, so CD into Alexa. A CD samples. And then CD companion service, capital S for service. Okay, and uh, the correct command is... <laughs> NPM space start. And we are now listening Let's on listen port 3000. All right, so th that that makes um, our USB microphone active now. Excellent. All right, so now we're gonna click file, new tab. So we're not gonna okay. keep on typing and we're gonna leave that terminal the way it is. No, okay. no file right there. Yeah. New tab, one, one down, right there. All right, sure. now we're gonna, <laughs> now we're gonna CD space dot dot forward slash uh, into the Java client folder. So we're going to Java client now. You don't need a, you don't need a forward slash there. Oh, okay, cd uh, oh, space it's actually, dot dot. It's in here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. cd Java client, yeah. All right, so from here, um, we are going to uh, start the build. All right, so it's mvn space, I'm looking, at, I'm cheating over here, I'm looking at the instructions. <laughs> That's not really cheating. No, oh, okay, I'm reading, <laughs> I'm trying to read the correct syntax from the instructions, because yes, exactly. apparently I'm not very good at that. Um, EXEC colon EXEC, exec, exec. It's building the Alexa voice service. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so this, okay, now stop. Okay, so now what has happened is a pop-up window appeared that gave, that's giving us authorization uh, from Amazon, all right? So, um, w what it's asking you to do is, it says, please register your device by visiting the following website on any system and uh, following the instructions. So you wanna copy and paste that, it's HTTPS. Okay. We, and I'm gonna... Can we cut and paste it? Yeah, you copy paste. Okay. And then you wanna open a terminal right there, in with not on your computer, but on okay. Alexa, on, on the Raspberry Pi. Well, she, she woke up when you said that. <laughs> All right, so then put, paste it into the URL right there. Oh. No, yeah, command. Well, you have to copy it while using command. Yes. <laughs> so this is the, <laughs> the challenge of Apple's versus Linux here. Versus Raspberry Pi's. Okay. So enter. Hopefully. Oh, there it goes. Okay, and then I'm going to type in my credentials. Hopefully that's right. Okay, so now it says device token ready. Okay, so now we go back to Alexa and we say, we cl click OK once it's completed. So we have registered our device on Amazon's developer website. We're clicking OK. And then now we're going to speak into the microphone. So the, because it's not act voice activated, what you have to do is you have to click start listening. I'm going to click it. I'm turning my volume here. Okay. Oh, whoops, I just clicked the wrong, I just clicked outside the window, sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna click start listening. What is one plus one? One plus one equals two, but I think you knew that already. <laughs> now, two. All right. can you rap? My name is Alexa and I'm here to say, I'm the baddest AI in the cloud today. Your responses are fast, but mine are faster. Now, Sucker speech engines. They call me master. <laughs> now ask this Alexa the same thing with the button not on there. Alexa, can you rap? 
My name is Alexa and I'm here to say, I'm the baddest AI in the cloud today. <laughs> Your responses are fast, but mine are faster. Sucker speech engines, they call me master. Now it's interesting, if you listen to the difference between the two, the response times are almost the same. Uh, perhaps a little, we're using a small speaker here, so it's a really uh, simple battery uh, charged speaker, but it sounds like it's just really a little bit of uh, sound quality. All right, uh, would you like to try? Sure. All right. Ready? Right, push so the quick. button. Alexa, who's better, you or Siri? Siri's, Siri's a, great a great app, app but, I'm but I'm different. Alexa. Right. Oh, Alexa, how are you different from Siri? Siri's a, Siri's a great app, but I'm different. Ah, well. I believe she's not going to reveal that. <laughs> she's not going to tell all her secrets to you. Now, interesting enough. Now we're not going to we're not going to actually charge anything or, or order anything. But push this, and I'll I'll try to order. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, I'm interested in shopping for an Acer monitor. How much is an Acer 20-inch monitor? Did you want me to order Acer 20-inch monitor? No. No. All right. You can see uh, if you tie this to your Amazon Prime account, uh, you can immediately order something right away, have it charged to your card, and immediately shipped. And Carol and I know that because we tested it with this one, and I actually received a monitor at my front door. <laughs> it was one that Caroline was looking to buy. So, uh, pretty interesting. Alexa, what is the weather today? Currently, in Atlanta, it's 61 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect clouds and showers with a high of 74 and a low of 59. No, all right, all right, Dean, do you want to try? Come on, come on, join the show here and, uh, now, now, and, Dean, and try. Is and, there a yeah. co company you're currently talking to that you'd like to do a little research on? Maybe? Good idea, absolutely. Alexa, who is the CEO of Staples? Hmm, I don't, I don't know, but you can take a look at the Bing search link I added in the Alexa app. Huh. Alexa, yeah. where is Staples headquarters? Oh, wait, wait, I have to click first. Alexa, where is the headquarters of Staples? Framingham, Massachusetts. Alexa, I love you. Hey, hang on. Alexa, I love you. That's really sweet. <laughs> now what was uh, <laughs> obviously not <laughs> now you, right, you guys right. can see why the, we're, we're using the microphone is because Amazon released the code so that uh, hobbyists and and, uh, and geeks like us can try this out and play with it and also get to know the Raspberry Pi obviously someone has made that work on the Raspberry Pi but what they left out of their their code was the voice activation without having to use a device. So on the Amazon Echo I have here, we can just talk out loud and, and the device is listening. In our case, we actually have to manually tell it to listen and to stop listening. For help with what you can say, take a look at the things to try section in the Alexa app. I don't believe that's a, that's a yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, nonetheless, wouldn't that be a great service to have? It's only a few, uh, a little bit of time away. Now that said, the iPhone, uh, when you don't, with an iPhone 6, if you have it plugged in, you can call Siri and have it make a phone call. With the 6S, you don't have to have it plugged in, and you can call Siri and make a phone call. So my guess is you need to add a phone service to your Echo so that it has a way to make a call. Maybe a Skype integration would be great. Now, does Alexa have her own app as well? I yes. Believe. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I loaded the app on my on my iPad yesterday, and it's available on all, all the things. And so what it gives me, what is really cool about what it gives me, it gives me all the questions I just asked in a list. I have the record of... <laughs> Excellent. Now here's, here's what we can see what we had just called. It shows that we uh, had pulled up Taylor Swift Red. For some reason, they must not have 1989 on there, or it didn't understand what I said. But there, there's your search. Who's yeah, and it literally brings up the uh, logo as well. Uh, so we asked for the weather in Atlanta. You, we were actually talking to our Echo, not the Amazon Echo, but it picked it up anyway. You can see some of the things that were in here. Uh, how are you different from Siri? Who's better, you or Siri? Can you rap? <laughs> um, so if you're saying uh, inappropriate things to your Siri and someone finds your phone, they can see what inappropriate things you were saying to Siri. It's Everything's recorded. It's a digital world. Yeah, that <laughs> is. Well, that's great.
This is fantastic. And let's talk about the investment uh, for the Raspberry Pi. What was the cost for the kit? Uh, it was $71 for the kit. Okay. Um, I could have just simply purchased them. Really, at the end of the day, the only thing I needed was the motherboard, which was around $41 for the motherboard. Uh, the kit came with this, uh, this nice case, this black case. Um, it came with the power. Uh, so, which I thought I needed, which is why I bought the kit. But the power is really nothing more than a micro USB, micro S, uh, micro USB, micro port. USB port. So I really could have just taken an existing uh, micro USB charger I had. Now uh, the microphone uh, is just a regular USB microphone. It's not anything special. So I didn't buy this. We already had this. Um, this speaker. Um, uh, our, our promotional um, vendor gave this gave the speaker to me a year ago. Jekyll, if, if you need promotional items. There you go. And we just had a simple USB keyboard and a mouse. And a mouse, yes. And then really you could have used any computer. I, I, I'm using a Mac here, but we could have used anything to terminal into the device. And as well, um, we're using, uh, M, uh, what's the name of it? No, uh, MBN. NPM? No, no, no. It's. Uh, VNC. VNC. We use VNC to get a graphical uh, to reach the graphical user interface. It's delivered by the uh, Linux distribution that comes with the uh, with the Raspberry Pi. And so with that, you have a full browser. You have a file uh, viewer and a file editor. It even comes with a with a small version of uh, some sort of Office type product called uh, what's it called? Can you see that? Office. No, it's called uh, Libre Libre Office. Uh, which actually seems pretty substantial. So when you get the Raspberry Pi, it could even be used for a uh, a computer. So I want to I want to ask you a question about the VNC uh, user. So uh, what I did when I was working on this over the weekend, I simply plugged the the Raspberry Pi straight into the monitor that we have here, and I, I we really could have configured the entire project just using a monitor without a computer, and I could have just had my iPad here, and you know read the instructions off of here and then just configured it. I, in hindsight, I think I would have preferred to do that just because the fonts would have been bigger. They were all really tiny on your screen. Um, so that's, so we really didn't need the VNC at all. I, you can get this working without the VNC. Um, the, the advantage of the VNC, in my opinion, was the last step. So that way you don't have to have your monitor hooked up. You just have a computer you hit start listening and then and your Alexa is like plugged in somewhere else in your office and you can and it and it works. And what what we don't see here is if we unplug this, hopefully it doesn't kill the graphic session on my machine. You can <laughs> see it gets a lot bigger. What you can't see on camera is that um, because we're trying to adjust to the resolution that we find on the Acer monitor, uh, it made everything look very small. But if you unplug that you do get a little bit better uh, viewing. Uh, on a on a computer, whether it's mine or whether it's a, a Mac or even your your iPad. Yeah. So, but still, you're right. Probably going directly into the Raspberry Pi would have been easier. Yeah. We could have, yeah, we could have done that instead of instead of always doing it through the VNC. So. Uh, talk about practicality. What could this be uh, potentially used for? Uh, I think it could. Well, I think it could be used for, uh, say, kids in school that are saying high school. You want to give them a project to introduce them to, ho you know, hobby type of activities. We're introducing them to system administration, or even a little bit of understanding of what some of the major servers are we use today, like Angular, or Maven, or um, VNC that we use to try to come into the machine. Could this not be a great tool for that? This was a great tool. I learned a lot about XML in this tool and uh, config files. Like I learned what yeah, JSON learned looks like yes. versus XML. Yeah, yeah. So this uh, that was a good practice, and then installing Java. That was pretty. That was really straightforward. But hey, I've got a, a little taste for Java now as well. Maven. Um, so we used a lot of different uh, programs uh, to get them all to work together in this. And, and I so even it was for fun. not just for kids, like for STEM learning, even for adults, it could be a good way to. To learn a bit of this. The other thing too, I thought about for corporate activities. Imagine if you're wanting to have a corporate get together where you're going to encourage teamwork and other things, handing everybody out a, a Raspberry Pi and say, "Here's the recipe. Go build an Echo. First one wins uh, <laughs> wins, a, wins an Amazon gift card." <laughs> and it's a minimal cost to the company as well, so that's good. Yeah. Right, right. That's so, uh, now how long did it take to, for the uh, Raspberry Pi from the time you ordered it to actually arrive? Uh, two days because I'm a uh, Amazon Prime member. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I, I think it'd be really interesting to for the next step to develop on top of this, develop our our own um, 
flair or our own flavor, make it on our own and, and do something. I think there's a lot more functionality here at this Raspberry Pi that we could really develop on top of this. Now, how much uh, how much storage did you put in the micro SD card that's in there? 32. Okay, so it's a that's a fairly substantial. <laughs> think about a lot of our phones. Uh, might have to be a 64 gig phone, but a lot of phones that people have are 16 and they do great. There's plenty enough storage to do a lot of things. Now, you figure that part of that, there's also RAM typically that comes outside of what you have for storage. Um, for what we're doing, that's probably uh, probably a Class C card or a Class 10 card. Yeah. So it's probably true. well fast enough uh, to do the things we want to do. Uh, and if you put a you know 64 gig in there, you could you could rule the universe, send a man to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of our show. Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, keep on watching. We'll we'll think of other things uh, to build and to do to entertain you. So uh, that's a wrap. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.